morning and welcome again to this our regular Sunday gathering here at www.mcquistonpc.org. I trust you and your loved ones are all well. The news this week has been a little bit more encouraging and we thank God for that. We seem at last to be moving in the right direction and moving out of this pandemic that has afflicted the world for the last three or four months. All of those thoughts now we want to leave aside. We want to put everything aside. All the concerns of the week past, the things that we might be worrying about in the week to come, so that we can focus today upon worshipping God. We come together in Jesus' name. We are together though we are apart. You today have been listening to Mark playing the introduction to our services. We're going to read now from God's word as we continue to worship him. We're going to read this in a responsive way. Uh, We're going to read from Psalm number 9, verses 1 and 2, and then verses 7 to 11. I'm going to read the words in red, and then we'll all respond with the words in black. This is God's word. I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonders. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing the praises of your name, O Most High. The Lord reigns forever. He has established a throne for judgment. He rules the world in righteousness and judges the people with equity. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Those who know your name trust in you, for you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Sing the praises of the Lord, enthroned in Zion. Proclaim among the nations what he has done. Amen. And may God be praised through this reading of his word. Some of the things that we read together just now, we will consider later in the service. Um, Particularly that charge, to make known his name among the nations. And we're going to think about how that applies to us today in our situation. For now though, let's all worship God as we sing together, wherever you are and whoever you're with, the words of a well-known hymn, crown him with many crowns. Let's praise God. 